Okay, let's create some plan and profile sheets with the Inroads Plan and Profile Generator. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to create some plan views that are going to be used to place on the plan and profile sheets. So what I want to do is I want to make sure my station lock is off. Go tools, locks, station, and it's already off. Good. Okay, so let's go to drafting, plan and profile generator, and the dialog opens. And our first step is to select the main tab here. Select that, and under the method, let's choose plan and profile. Under plan views, select use station limits. Under sheets, enable the generate sheets checkbox up here. Under horizontal alignment, select your alignment that you're going to use. Station limits, let's choose our station limits. 25 length. Uh, I'm using a 36 inch, uh, 24 by 36 inch sheet. 36 inches wide, minus title block and margins. Uh, let's say I have 30 inches of width to work with. Uh, I'm using a 1 inch equals 50 foot scale. So that means I can fit about 1,500 feet worth of alignment on my sheet. So for little bit of buffer and overlap, let's say 1400 feet of alignment length per sheet. Okay, that looks good. The next step, plan controls tab. Uh, plan, we'll call this plan profile view. Uh, width left and right. Let me click on our title block. Um, okay, we have a 24 inch wide title block and it's pretty much cut right in half so that's 12 inches up here that I have available for plan minus a 1 inch margin which means I have 11 inches available for plan view at a 1 inch equals 50 scale that means I can fit 550 feet of width in my plan view so let's knock off 100 feet on each side and let's go with 350 feet of total width in plan view so the left I'll put it negative 175 and the right I'll put it 175. Overlap, boundary cords, nested attachments is selected. Let's select our model files tab and select our model files. I'll click open and a lot of these plan controls I'm not going to go into into detail because we covered them in the um, sheet, uh, the uh, plan view sheet generator video. Um, okay, so let's click on Profile Controls and Seed View Name, Profile View, that's good. Set Name, you can name that, uh, whatever you want. Profile Preference, let's load our Profile Preferences, and these are the preferences that you probably have saved that define your vertical exaggeration and your symbology for your axis labels and whatnot. Let's choose our Vertical Alignment profile grade. In this case we only have one loaded. Uh, you may have several loaded in your project. Um, choose the surfaces that you want to display on your sheet. Uh, again, in this case we only have one. You may have several. Profile elevation shifts. Uh, this is if your profile doesn't fit in your vertical uh, profile sheet view. Inroads will shift it automatically based on um, whichever criteria you select. Uh, let's say shift where needed. Profile height. Uh, I'm going to use 40. That's usually good for my settings. Uh, you can experiment and see what works best for you. Profiles per column. We'll leave that at 1. Margins. This will put a margin around your profile for displaying your maybe your axis labels and whatnot. Uh, I found that 50 again works good for my settings. Super control lines, oh, we don't have a corridor uh, defined so we're going to leave that we'll leave this blank. Uh, these settings once again these are covered in the plan view sheets video so we won't go into that. Uh, the next tab is the sheet layout tab. Uh, sheet number, we'll start with sheet number one. Name, we'll call these plan yeah, profile one host file. Let's define a host file. Uh, one and profile
files. We'll name that. Click Save. Uh, let's load our seed host file. Inroads PMP seed. Uh, sheet location. We're going to use layout along alignment. And we're going to use a single sheet for each file. Alternate plan and profile. This is so um, if you if you select this, then your first sheet will just be a plan view, and your second sheet will be the profile view that corresponds to that plan view. And then sheet numbers three and four will go together, and uh, four or five and six will go together, and so on. If you enable this box, it swaps that. Um, it swaps your plan and profile sheets. Your profile sheet will show first and your plan sheet will show second. Uh, personally I don't like that method anyway so we'll just deselect that. Clipping boundary we'll leave that at default for right now. Um, again these are talked about in the plan view video. So everything there looks good. Let's go to our view layout tab and our location of our plan and profile views. Plan, I'm going to do two and a half inches from the left and I'm going to go 17 inches up from the bottom and that's because here we have 12 inches from the bottom to the halfway and we have another 12 inches in the top minus the one inch margin so that'll leave 11 inches there so I'll go up 12 inches plus half of the 11 inches, which is 5 and a half, and that gives me 17 and a half inches up from the bottom. We just call it 17 inches. Scale, I'm using a 1 to 50 scale. And, okay, that's good. So now let's come over to our border and title tab. And you can name the level that your sheets are going to go on. We'll just leave it at plan sheet. Scale. In most cases, you want this to be the same that you had on your view layout or reference file. This is where you load your title block file, plan and profile, border, DGN, sheet size. Uh, select the sheet size. It was already selected in this case. Good. Title block data file. I'm going to browse and load that. Open. Uh, if you need to edit it, just click edit and change whatever you need to change. When you're done, click File, Save. Close that. And everything there looks good. So let's go to our Symbols and Details tab. And I can uh, load my North Arrow. So I'll just select that in my drop-down list. There's my North Arrow. Choose that. Uh, I'll just use, uh, use Sheet Level over here. You can load another cell if you want. Um, maybe if you have a legend or a graphic scale. Location of my north arrow, this will just be x equals 25, y equals 22, so it will probably be up here somewhere near the top right of the sheet. Uh, match lines, I already have those set from our plan sheet video. Sheet index, uh, we'll come back to that later. Okay, so it looks like everything is set, so let's come back here to our main tab and we should be ready to create our sheets and we'll do that in part two